or you can stay around and watch me do a targeted landing. Well, yeah, the satellite launch part is done, now we just do the landing part. And I'll show you how to come down next to the space center, which is here. You'll probably want to remember the shape of this landmass here because that's what you watch for when you come in for landing and the space center is here here where these two pieces of debris are and there's our satellite in a nice high stable orbit now we'll wait for the periapsis, bring the other side of our orbit down and then we'll aim for our landing okay now you want to see how long your orbit is and it's right now it's a little well it's like an hour now I think little less than that so the planet won't rotate very far while we're orbiting but it will rotate some and you have to take that into account that is why I first want to lower my orbit and then come down because it makes it easier to compensate for the rotation of the planet essentially it means that you have to aim slightly ahead of the point where you want to land and we'll go for this ocean here I think it's a nice big body of water and relatively close to the space center and we'll have enough rocket fuel left to compensate some as we come down if we need to okay 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 now now let's head over to the other side and I'll explain you to you how to aim your landing now what you want to do is bring your periapsis down over the point where you want to land down to about 33-35 kilometers so when the atmosphere slows you down that ensures that the atmosphere slows you down to enough to make you land and you end up landing more or less at whichever point your periapsis was over essentially as you come down your the atmosphere slows you down so your trajectory changes and if you put your periaps bring your periapsis down to about 30, 33 35 kilometers it, the atmosphere slows you down enough to make you come down more or less at that point as you'll see in a little while okay now we'll bring it oh okay that's just about perfect now it looks like we are far away from the actually let's bring it down a little lower okay now it looks like we're far away from the launch site but the planet will rotate a bit well not so much since we are doing this from a relatively slow low orbit but still essentially you don't want to do this from an orbit that is higher than around 300 kilometers more than that and it starts getting hard to aim properly okay so let's speed up time actually we can get rid of this part right now don't worry the, those will get plenty far away from us see no problem see this point has already shifted away from here because of the rotation of the planet but since we're pretty low down and we took that into account it won't be a big problem and since this is lower than 33 kilometers we'll come down a little short of this point so
so there shouldn't be any problems. Okay, we'll start hitting the atmosphere right about now. Okay. Now it's the only problem that I can see here is well there's two problems. One, this part could crash into our capsule and these parachutes might be a little too much off center and they might snap off if we turn our ship once we separate this part here but if that doesn't happen we'll be just fine now this here this we see under ourselves is this landmass here and we'll start seeing the landmass where the launch center is located in the distance in a few seconds I think it shouldn't be too far away yeah there it is you probably can see it on YouTube yet but yeah it's coming up right there okay since we have two parachutes and this capsule I think is stronger than the normal command pod for rockets it shouldn't have any problems even if we come down on land but see our perapsis is already coming down because the atmosphere is slowing us down and our trajectory is changing so we'll come down somewhere here I think but we can always speed ourselves up some see how quickly it turns that's the danger there because that can lead us lead us to well that can rip that turning can rip our parachutes off if we did it with our capsule alone since then we would turn so quickly then that it could literally rip the parachutes off which would be a problem now we'll wait for 20 kilometers up before we separate this piece since okay we want the parachute to deploy right away once we do that so well yeah let's do it that way I'm still not used to this configuration but okay now we separate it and it should deploy the parachute yes see it's slowing it down so it okay let's wait a little bit longer make sure it's plenty far away from us so it doesn't hit us and we're deploying our parachutes and now we should come down safely okay and that's how you launch a satellite hope you enjoyed it and let's hope these guys calm down otherwise I'm going to have to drug them yeah they probably shouldn't be astronauts anyway I'll put them on the ground crew I think they really don't have the nerves for this but I think I killed Jeb and the new Jeb hasn't been cloned yet or rather the process hasn't been finished he shows up now and again okay okay and that's a successful mission this time I managed not to kill them with this configuration okay YouTube I'm gonna end the flight here and I hope you enjoyed this and we're down <laughs>